Why is she dead over there? I guess the quiz that she took today was really bad. Let's study for exams! She's alive again. What a miracle. At this rate, I'm not going to be able to get over the next semester exams. I'm going to get failing scores and end up having to come to the extra lessons. I won't be able to take long breaks anymore. Then I won't be able to go out on dates with my boyfriend. That's not good at all. Let's make sure to study hard for exams. I'll do everything I can to show you the ropes. My boyfriend, he's so kind. I love you. But your boyfriend is also on the bottom half of the school grade rankings. Let's do a quick ranking check. I'm 200th. I'm 199th. And fifth. Please teach, Please teach us, sensei. sensei. I mean, my friends are asking for my help, so I have no reason to say no, but man, studying for exams, huh? <sighs> all right, well, let's all study for exams at your house next weekend. It's been decided! Hmm? What's wrong? Huh? Oh, it's nothing. Oh, I see. What? All right, you can leave the rest up to me. What? What? What are you planning on doing? Hey, hey there, pretty lady. Do you have a second? Huh? We're actually about to be having a study group for exams, so how about you come with me, huh? Huh? Uh... Uh... No! Okay. Huh? She said she'd come! Yay! Uh... Huh. Oh! Oh. My name is Tsubasa Karasuma. And I'm just a regular old junior in high school that you can find anywhere. I've invited my friends from school to get together and study for exams at my house, but... There's currently a heavy rain emergency warning in effect. Yeah, we're gonna assume that the whole thing is cancelled. I'm going to just send the three of them that the study group is cancelled. But man, is it really pouring and coming down out there? Apparently, this is going to keep going for a day and even get worse from now on. Hmm? Am I crazy? Am I seeing things? I feel like there's someone over there that I've seen before. Huh? What is she doing out there? <sighs> oh. What are you doing out in this rain without an umbrella? The wind. Did the wind blow it away? Yes. I texted everyone saying that today was off. Did you not see the text? My phone. Did you forget it? Yes. Hmm. Uh. Oh, uh, did you want to come inside? That would help me out. I got to know her after we changed classes my junior year. Hmm. Uh. Her name is Tsubasa Okami. Nice to meet you, Okami. Uh, she was a very quiet person. On top of that, she was unfriendly and she never said anything back when you greeted her. However, she had great looks, so there were quite a few men that were fine with her as long as she looked good. I would often see them asking her out and getting rejected. Something happened, though, that would bring us together. Are you okay, sir? My back is killing me. One day, I was on the way to go interview for my part-time job when I ran into an old man that had hurt his back. 
I helped him out and took him to where he was headed and it happened to be at the cafe that I was planning on getting interviewed at. And on top of that, the old man claimed to be the store's owner as well. I'm getting old, you know. I've been handling it with just my grandchild, but I decided to bring on just one more person to help out. Your grandchild, you say? Let me introduce you. Come on, come over here. Hmm? Huh? That's right. Coincidentally, Okami happened to be working at the part-time job that I was applying for. That's how I started working part-time with Okami. Gramps. Sorry about that. Grandpa. I could tell very clearly that Okami really loved her grandpa. You know, it's interesting. You're kind of different from when you're in class. Yeah, nope. She's just the same. She's still just as unfriendly. I don't really understand. However, when you keep working at a place, you start to notice things and learn. The grandpa is apparently a very compassionate man. Are you hungry? Hmm. Hmm. Huh? Eat up. Eat, grow up, and then come back to pay me. Ah! This old man was also like her grandfather. He didn't bother talking much. A man doesn't speak with his mouth, but with his back. That's a real man. You're so cool, Gramps. Hmm. I love Gramps. Uh-huh. After my parents died in an accident, I didn't have anyone related except Gramps. I want to be the kind of person to talk with my back, kind of like Gramps, too. <clears throat> I don't hear anything from your back. Apparently, Okami is a silent type because of her grandpa. Gramps is... respect. So, it's not like she didn't want to talk to people or anything, so that's good to know. But she seems like she has some troubles. I don't have any homies. Hmm. Gramps says I should make homies. Yeah, of course. But I can't make any for some reason. Because you can't make friends by talking to them with your back. Oh. Ah, well, did you want me to be your friend if you're interested? Yes. You're really interested in that, aren't you? It's my first friend ever. I didn't know that. You need to teach me all kinds of things. Y yeah. That's how I became friends with Ukami. I introduced her to my friends as well and helped her make some more friends. <laughs> I think that I'm gonna be picked by the teacher to answer the questions next class. Help me! Here. You're gonna show me the answers? Oh, come on. You shouldn't be spoiling your friends like that. Oh, you're tough. Be kind to your homies. Being kind and spoiling them are two different things. Uh... Okami was definitely affected by her grandpa. She was unfriendly, but she seemed to be very easy on her friends. Before I knew it, I started to... Well, I have fallen for her. Karasuma, what's the problem? Huh? What do you mean, what is the problem? You were looking at me. It's nothing. Don't worry about it. If there's something bothering you, I want you to tell me. Because we're... homies. Hmm then there's even less of a reason for me to be able to tell you. I can never tell my friend that I like her as a woman. 
That's right. She's just my friend. That means that I have to tuck those feelings away and hold it in. I should, but... Thank you for the shower. Hmm. Huh? How am I supposed to hold this in? Uh... Uh, I'm sorry that I could only give you my tracks uh, suit for a change of clothes. Why? Huh? Why am I apologizing? Because you probably don't want to wear a man's track suit. Not really. You okay with it? I mean, okay, that's fine then. Hmm. It smells like you, Karasuma. We started working in the same store, and I can kind of tell that she's trying to hide something from time to time, but... <laughs> what the hell is that movement and gesture supposed to mean? I don't know what she's thinking anymore! Sniff, sniff. You hang in there, higher brain. You're going to ask her out at this rate, and she's going to say that she likes me as a friend. Hello? Subasa-chan, it's mom. What is it, mom? Well, you know, you've probably noticed the torrential downpour, right? It's apparently flooding everywhere, so I don't think I can make it back home tonight. Oh, okay. So, you just try to fix something up with what's in the fridge to eat for dinner, okay? Okay, sure. Your father said that he can't make it home tonight either. Okay. Make sure to lock up and also make sure to be careful with the fire and stove. I got it, Mom. Alright, take care. Yeah. Huh? Huh? Oh, my mom called me and said that she won't be able to make it back home tonight. My dad won't be getting back either. Hmm. Oh, and it's apparently flooding all over the city as well. From what I can see on the news, it looks like you're not going to be able to make it home today either, Okami. You want to stay over at my house tonight? Are you sure? I mean, I can't tell you to just go home in this situation. Don't worry about it though, okay? No one is going to be coming home till morning, so it's just going to be... us two? Hmm? Uh. Hmm. It's going to be just us two. Huh? No way. So it might just be one night, but I'm going to be in the same house with the person that I like with just the two of us? And all the while my crush is going to be wearing a tracksuit? Huh. <sighs> Dead. Hey! Wake up, higher brain. Use your logic. The person I like is wearing my baggy tracksuit. I'm already having a tough time fighting Lizard Brain, but on top of that, it's just the two of us tonight. Higher Brain cannot resist. Higher Brain! Karasuma. Ah! Are you okay? Y y yeah That was really close. I was about to lose my higher logic brain and just be left with lizard brain. Uh, uh, you know, I know that this is a little late to bring up, but are you sure you're okay with it? Okay with what? You know, being with just me, a guy. I'm okay with it, as long as it's you, Karasuma. Huh? Huh? Do not misunderstand. Don't misunderstand her. Nighttime. I'll sleep on the sofa in the living room. <sighs> huh? You'll sleep on the sofa in the living room? Yes. I can't let you do that. Stay here and on top of that, take over my bed. 
You don't have to worry about it. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe it's late for me to bring it up, but how can I tell what Okami is trying to tell me? That's how we continue to talk about who will be taking the bed, and as a result, this happened. Okami wouldn't budge about the living room, so I ended up caving in, and for some reason, now we're both in the same bed with just the two of us at night. What the hell is going on? What did I do to let me sleep with my crush in the same bed? Oh, sorry. I guess it's pretty small, huh? I should probably sleep on the sofa. O Okami? No. Oh, okay. I'll go to sleep in the bed. Yes. How the hell am I supposed to sleep in the same bed as her? Uh, I can smell something good from next to me and I can kind of hear her breathing softly too. My logic is basically completely murdered at this point. Dead. Logic, please! How your brain function? I really can't anymore. You need to wake up, man. Uh, I can't. Maybe I don't need to be holding back. If anything, if we're sleeping in the same bed and she's okay with it, that must be what that means, right? They say that rejecting the advances of a woman is a man's shame. Or something like that. Huh? Huh? She's asleep? In this situation? Mm, num, num. She looks so defenseless. <sighs> I guess she trusts me that much as a friend then. I can't possibly betray that kind of trust. I guess I'll go to bed too. If I can actually manage to fall asleep. Good night, Okami. Huh? Ah! Whoa! It would seem that I fell asleep without noticing. You'd be surprised what you can fall asleep through. Hmm? Oh. Uh. Huh? Huh? What is going on right now? This is like Okami was trying to kiss me while I was asleep? Okami, were you trying to... Huh? Wait, hey, hang on! Ah! Uh. What is going on right now? O Okami... Wait, does she... Does she like... Hi. Ukami. <laughs> huh? W what is... Go for it. Higher brain? B but... You know what she's thinking. You should understand by now. Be confident. Higher brain. I can't believe that logic from a higher brain would push me to go for it at the very end. Okami. Just a little more. Just a little... I'm home! Huh? M Mom is home? She wasn't supposed to be home tonight, though. Huh? Tsubasa chan? Are you not home? Uh, oh, uh, I'm gonna go talk to her real quick, okay? Yeah. B bye. Uh, I was so close. Uh. <sighs> Two days after the weekend, at school. Y yo. 
Mm. Hey, yeah, you two! Huh? You two are acting a little bit strange, aren't you? Oh, did something happen? No. Hey, Okami-san, how do you feel about Karasuma? <sighs> do you like him? Uh. Do you dislike him? Uh. Uh, I can't figure out what she's thinking at all. O Okami, do you have a second? Yeah. About that thing. Hmm? Hmm. Maybe she's actually pretty easy to understand. 